ايه اثنين Good night. Good evening, Mateo. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, we are going to start. We are six now. And as you know, uh, every single Friday or every fifth class, we have like a general review from the whole lessons that we have been studying during the week. And that is what we are going to have for today's class. We are going to have like a general feedback about uh, the different topics that we have been studying. In, if I mention uh, the topics that we have been studying during the week, 
we have a lot of modal auxiliaries, right? We have modal auxiliaries can, could, also may, and might. Another modal auxiliary that we have studied is would and wouldn't, and his would like to, right? And uh, what else? In a general way, that is what we have been um, studying during the uh, whole week. Also, I can add that we have studied vocabulary related to shopping online, right? Uh, we have talked about um, what a refund is. And uh, of course, more vocabulary that is related to online or on-site uh, shopping, right? Okay, we are going to start now in a formal way. The uh, general review that we have for this, right? The main objective for today's class is that we are going to be able to perform a role play. And that is going to be like the main role for today's class. We're going to have like a role play in which we are going to gather the whole vocabulary that we have been practicing during the week, right? And uh, what else? Um, we, we are going to be reinforcing the different topics because um, you're going to work in a role play, but also we are going to be taking different like um, online tests and even one um, worksheet in which you are going to work with your classmates, right? Let's see. We have here, this is for yesterday's class. We were talking about a refund. We have here um, different information that we can uh, apply, right? First, we need to introduce the name here. Also, we need to write down here an acceptable reason and one unacceptable reason in order to get the refund or not. But the, in this exercise, we need to have, uh, we are going to include this into your role play activity. We are not going to answer it here, but you are going to include it, of course, in your conversation because we are going to have the role play. And that is going to be not that really short because it has to be long enough to cover every single content. Also, we have this, this conversation, you have it in your book. And uh, I'm going to erase. In this conversation, uh, we have uh, we have to practice the very first topic that it was the demonstrative pronouns. Remember that we classify them and we divide them in uh, demonstrative adjectives, but also in demonstrative pronouns. And you have to know the difference between both of them. These exercises are just for you to have the review, right? To keep in your mind, to have a, a feedback from this content. Also, we have uh, another one in which we are going to use the two modal auxiliaries can and could, right? Understanding that there is a slight difference between them but we can work with them. Um, and to have in this exercise, we have to have like a coherent ending for each of these questions. And also you need to write down the answers. What else do we have for this general review? 
well, more vocabulary in which we are going to practice a little bit. We have the credit cards, confirm and information, select an item. This vocabulary is related to the online shopping, right? And now that we have checked, later on we are going to solve them, of course. But this is uh, what we have to include in our uh, role play. And this is going to be uh, one of the, this is going to be the main activity that we are going to develop in today's class. Before getting into it and answering uh, the exercises that we have, we are going to have like different tests. One of them are going to be like uh, games, but there are some others that are going to be like a little bit more formal for you to uh, get the knowledge. Um, I'm going to share with you the different links. Let me see. I'm going to stop sharing because I want to share. Hi, teacher. Hi. Good evening. How are you doing? Tired. But yes, I'm here. Time. <laughs> no, I understand. Every single student that is here at this time, everyone is tired, right? I think that right. um everyone is doing like an extra, extra effort to learn a little bit. Yes. Okay, I have like a little, a little short game for you to practice a little bit the auxiliaries could, may, and might. I have posted, I have already posted there in the chat box. Can you see it? Can you see that link? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. This is what you have to, this is what you have to do, you have to have. Okay. Uh, try to uh, answer the 10 um, statements, questions, and then let's see you can, your result. Right? Let's start with this. Teacher. Yes. El mío decía arriba aplauso, pero cuando lo capturé se borró el aplauso. <laughs> ok. <laughs> Le robaron los aplausos. Es más rápido que yo. Ok, if you couldn't finish, you can retake it again, right? <laughs> ¿Cuántos números? Ok, all of them. All of them. The ten. Okay. 
con dos candaditos que le salga, pierde. Y tiene que volver a comenzar, ¿ok? That is why you have that. Ok. Ok. I forgot to tell you that. Ya perdí. <laughs> fin, you finish, okay. Please. No. Nice. Okay. No lo <laughs> okay, but in the WhatsApp. Ah, okay, lo mando. Okay. Indeed, I've got one already, and I didn't. I haven't realized. <laughs> Right. <laughs> okay. So with this, we can realize that maybe, maybe we have understood like very well the topics that we have studied. In this case, there are four, four uh, modal auxiliaries, can, could, made, and might, four of them. Is it difficult, guys? Yes. <laughs> Okay, two more pictures, two more pictures to see the, the results. Okay, I've got more. Okay, six out of ten. Okay, guys, so if you consider that this is very difficult, we are going to practice more in order to uh, have less difficulties at the moment to solve this. And that is why we are going to have, okay, we can post this exercise and later we are going to continue. And you are going to take this test again. But, so we are going to make like a general feedback with uh, from these uh, topics. I'm going to stop sharing with this. And uh, uh. 
Okay, we need to make a feedback. But that feedback, I'm not going to be in charge of the feedback. You are going to be in charge of the feedback, okay? We are going to restart it. <laughs> okay, uh, Berta, but maybe after this, after this uh, general review that we're going to do, maybe you can improve your result. Okay, mm -hmm. I think, I think that uh, among the participants, uh, we are going to be able just to have like two different teams. But in these different teams, we are going to do this. You are going to present these topics. For example, for example, Elsa and uh, Jose Adilson, I am just telling, guessing. You are going to work in two different uh, topics. You are going to talk about the demonstrative adjectives and also with the modal auxiliary can and could. It is like, Vamos a hacer ese repaso, but you need to explain what is the what are these topics about. Okay? Like in a general way, vamos a ver qué tanto nos acordamos o de qué se trata, de qué se tratan estos temas que hemos estudiado durante la semana, okay? ¿Cuál va a ser la mejor manera de reforzarlos? Okay. You need to go again to the lessons. Tienen que reforzarlas y comprenderlas mejor y nos la van a explicar aquí a todos los demás. This is like, you are going to have like five minutes to be in a, a teacher. Y mañana se va. And then the other team, one team is going to work with demonstrative adjectives and models and the other team is going to work with models might and, might and may and would and would like. Do you understand? Yes. No, teacher, please no. repeat again. Okay, Adilson. The best, the best way to to make a review is when you are the teachers when you have to explain the topic. No hay okay. mejor manera. No hay mejor manera to reinforce a topic. It is when I need to explain it. And that is what you are going to do in this right moment. Okay? That is what you're going to do. Let me see. Uh, we are going to have only two teams. Uno de los teams va a explicar los demonstrative adjectives and nouns, más modal auxiliary can and could. Y el otro team va a explicar models might, may, would, would like. Yes? Yes. Okay. yes. okay, so I'm going to do it by my own because, as I said, not everyone is going to be able to work in here. Let me see. Mateo? Mateo? Matthew? Matthew, are you here? Hola, hola. No sé are si you, me escucha. Yes. Are you going to be able to work with your team? Sí, sí. Okay. Okay, Matthew, you're going to work with Berta and Jose Adilson. Okay? Okay. You three together. And, uh, and uh, Amanda. Ah, no, Amanda, no. Elsa. Kevin, are you here? Okay, so Kerin, Elsa, and Osvaldo, you work with the other three uh, topics, okay? It means Berta, Jose Adilson, and Matthew, you're going to work with demonstrative adjectives and uh, nouns and modal auxiliaries can and could. And team number two, Elsa. Kerin and Osvaldo, you are going to explain modal auxiliaries might, mate, 
would and would like to. Yes? Is that clear? Okay, clear. Okay. Clear, pero no me gusta. Okay, but anyways. <laughs> no more okay. Está claro lo que tenemos que hacer. Yeah. Que lo podamos hacer es diferente. <laughs> but at least you're going to try. I'm sure that you're going to try. Okay, okay, guys. Hey, guys, let us work. I think that in, in 10 minutes, you are ready, right? Let us go. We need one hour. <laughs> no, but I'm going to give you just 10 minutes or 15 the most, right? And then we are coming back. Y van a pasar, van a pasar la tarea si después son capaces de resolver ese quiz que acaban de hacer very easily, okay? Now, let us do it. Mm -hmm. It may snow. Puede ser que nieve o a lo mejor nieva. Y menos probable, it may snow. Podría nevar o pudiera ser que nevara. Uh -huh. Y para pedir permiso solo se puede usar may. Yo había encontrado unas diferencias sobre may que son como, como reglas. En primero no se conjuga. Solamente eh, se... De, independiente del pronombre, siempre será might. La segunda es que siempre va seguido de un infinitivo. Y no, la tercera es que no tiene forma en pasado. En ese caso, usamos might más have más el participio pasado. En el caso de cuando el verbo que queremos utilizar también es have, pero en pasado sería I might... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eh, yo encontré una imagen de Google de los usos, eh, están todos los usos. Ajá. Uh -huh. Está past habits, polite requests, polite invi invitations and offers, 
to say what you you want to lately the future in the past second conditional is something hypothetical or imaginary y hay una oración de ejemplo por cada uno de los de los Cuando usted se hace referencia a eso, ahí les acabo de yes. mandar la, 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 la foto uh -huh. para que eh, solo tenemos que hacer como tenemos que hacer ejercicios como oraciones, va utilizando, no, no utilizando que los archivos demostrativos. Describen una característica. Pero este mm, el otro tema que nos toca. Yo lo sacaste. Describen a, algo, describen sí. algo específico de un grupo de cosas. Teacher, ¿verdad que no son dos temas? Es un solo tema y el tema sería eh, demostrative. ¿Cómo se llama? Adjective and pronouns. Es un solo tema, ¿verdad? Son dos. Es que no, dice son... nouns. Son dos. Porque son, no, son dos. Demonstrative adjectives and the pronouns and also the modal auxiliary can and could. Yes. Uh -huh. Es que como son very poquitos, entonces solo nos quedan dos y dos cada uno. Ah, entonces tenemos que hacer el demonstrative adjective and pronouns. ¿Y el, el otro? Can and could. Ah, can and could. Models. Okay. Dos temas. Los dos temas, ¿ok? Pero verdad que solo tendríamos que colocar como una de lo que es y un par de ejemplos, ¿verdad? Yes, that's all. That's all. Solo como, yes. como the main ideas para, quiero verificar si lo hemos comprendido, porque luego igual okay. vamos a ir a hacer unos test, vamos a ver qué tanto, y si no, pues seguimos practicando y al final vamos a terminar con el role play. Listo, de acuerdo. Ahora sí ya me queda, pero no había escuchado el otro, solo el primero. Ok. <risa> Listo. Uh...
Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello. Se me quedaron solo dos aquí. Yes. Teacher, eran dos, dos temas por cada grupo. Yes. O eran cuatro grupos. No, solo dos temas. No, solo somos dos grupos, chicos. Ah, okay, yeah. so, okay. so you are you are going to be working with my and mate and would and would like. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yo había entendido mal. Según yo era era solo my and mine para nosotros. No, corazones. Es que somos muy very poquitos trabajando. Okay, so that's why. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why we need to cover the four of them. Okay. 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 Oswaldo. Hola, hola. Hagamos. Teacher, ¿me puede devolver? Que Zoom me sacó de, de mi grupo. Ah, ya decía yo que acá, acabo de entrar. Les digo, los chicos se quedaron solitos, solo usted, todo le dije. Sí, sí. Okay. Okay. Por favor. Un momento, ok. Gracias. Vamos a ver. No la veo. Elsa, ya la encontré. Ok, ahorita la envío. Bye. Gracias. Different times. Y lo demás que me hice para pedir permiso. Valerie, can I include you in a team? Valerie? Valerie Mitchell? Valerie?
Okay, guys, just two more minutes and we come back. Two more minutes and we come back. Be ready. Teacher. Yes. No pude hacer el, home, el homework 12. No ah, lo pude. Así estaba leyendo ahí en el grupo del WhatsApp. Lo intenté y ni con el traductor. O sea, entendí que era ordenar las palabras, ¿verdad? Para... Uh -huh. Pero lo pude de todos modos y... You couldn't. Well, I don't. I try, but I don't. Ok. Y esa me queda de hoy. Uh, es la última. ¿Sabe por qué? Ok. ¿Sabe por qué? Por ejemplo. Um, dice. La indicación dice. Write the following positive sentences into negative past. Es decir, uh -huh. todos esos, uh, esas oraciones que están en positivo, usted las tiene que escribir en negativo. Por uh -huh. ejemplo, si la primera dice, her dog was thirsty, entonces la negativa tendrá que ser, her dog wasn't thirsty. Ah, uh, ya. Yeah. ¿Ok? Porque es en pasado. Para aunque, decir que ya no está sucio. Sí, aunque aquí ya se me pasó porque esta, esta tarea ya es de la unidad 3. Por ah, eso, bueno, es que, es que yo pregunté al chat y me dijeron que era hasta la 12. <risa> no, era hasta la unidad 2, unit 2. Ah, ah, pues ya terminé. <risa> <risa> yes, y estas las vas a ver hacer después que ya terminemos la otra semana. En la otra semana vamos a trabajar con estos ejercicios. Ah, ok, ya pues estoy ¿Sí? tranquila. <risa> ok, good. Así que la, los va a poder hacer nuevamente y ya va a entender much better. Okay, ah, okay. thank you. Ok, guys. Now, um, I would like to listen to your presentation, solo que así, las ideas generales, para ver si 
we can we have gotten the idea of the topics okay we have only two teams which is the first one guys where are you hi hi thank you so much <laughs> okay se me olvidado que éramos el primero perdón Solo okay. nosotros estamos, teacher. <ríe> yes. <ríe> ok. Les voy a compartir y me van a ayudar mis compañeros. Ok, ok, teacher, guys. I remember the class. The, the most active I have in pronoun. Um, the teacher is, is no se oye no se escucha I think no. that you got troubles with your audio oh. ahora ahora creo que mejor Okay. Yes. I remember that when when I showed the the most appeal I had and pronounced the teacher moved excuse me the, the using does is those when to to refer a uh, singular or plural is thus when speak singular el this is thus to speak singular and those it is in plural. For example, for example, this this, uh, this file this is very file heavy. Is very heavy. This chair is broken. Thus, office supplies are for manager only. These report, reports are out of date. The import in identity in, in one minute, one minute. Very important when the most active I I is this this and unknown. This car is expensive and the most active pronoun this is my car bear to be part the action i remember that picture that's okay that's okay uh, next let's see we remember can and call is similar uh, to use to use it for express a possibility but can express a possibility in, time, in present time and will express a possibility in the future for example I can eat at the today. 
And I will to beach. I will go to beach tomorrow. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. The only thing that I want to check it is a, the example of could. And uh, because then in the example you wrote would, aha. Uh -huh. But, uh, okay. but, después de could, tiene que venir el verbo. Pero no escribieron un verbo, sino que un sustantivo. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Okay. Driver. No, driver sigue siendo una persona. Ahí esa es el verbo. Okay? Drive. Drive. Así. I could drive. Right. Okay? Okay. Pero este le vamos a cambiar la palabra could you to describe a possibility in the future. Okay, that's it. You can leave it in that way. Okay, guys? Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. And now the second team. Hello, teacher. Hello. Voy a proyectar. So. Okay. Uh, ¿Se ve? Yes. Okay. Right. Uh, my group. Uh, no, me tocó hablar de model my and my, model would and would like. Un moment, un moment. Okay, go. Model my and my. They are generally used to act permanently or, or to the indicate possibility, possi possibility. As for possibility, possibility. Yeah, was good. I for possibility is two auxiliary model model have the sign and use it use it and uh, meaning they differ is that my and higher degree of uh, time certainty certainty sample my favorite team may win today and my what my win the lo, lottery lottery in one day so lo que ahí le faltó el sujeto i i my okay okay i might okay 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 um, okay i'm going to talk a little about the different types of use of the modal verb good which are past habits for example we will have lunch together on sundays Polite requests, for example, will you close the window, please? Polite invitations and offers, for example, would you like to come to our party? To say what you want politely, for example, I would like some coffee, please. The future in the past, for example, I thought the I thought she will help me. 
For second conditional, for example, if I wasn't raining, we would go for a walk. Walk. And finally, something hypothetical or imaginary. For example, I wouldn't like to be a doctor. Only that. Okay. Good, guys. Very good. Teacher. Yes, Elsa. My job is to say thank you a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I am, I am oh, no. <laughs> uh, we I, I'm going to say something okay. um, and in this in this model verbs uh, is is not con conjugated 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 uh, uh, it uh, has no form in the past. For example, in in the case of might, we need to to use in in past. We need to add the auxiliary have. You you can form the the sentence and the pronoun mas. ¿Cómo se dice mas? Plus. ¿Cómo? Plus. Plus might. Plus have. Plus eh, verb en, en particip participle. Participio. Participio. Uh -huh. In the case, if you want to use the verb have, you can say, I have. I, excuse me. <laughs> I, I might have. Had a cold. <laughs> yes. This is okay. So of the mind, um, with the house, the model verbs would and would like. The difference is que is when you use would, uh, the model verb is is followed by an infin infinitive. In case. If you you want to use would like uh, always uh, we need to add a particular 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 to okay. before the verb okay but in the first one when you say that would it is going to be followed by an infinitive can you give me one example uh, for example, uh, I will check uh, my email. I have, but it is not infinitive because infinitive is to check. And so I'm not going to say I would to check. I'm going to say I would check. So Sorry. In, in instead of saying. <laughs> no, but that is okay. Difficult. No, but that is okay. And instead of saying infinitive, you have to say the base form. Base form. Okay. The base form. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, but good try. That is something that I like when you try to speak. Right. Okay, okay guys. Okay. Now I want you to answer now again. Let us see the same quiz that you took at the very beginning. And now let us see the difference. Vamos a ver si cambia un poquito the results. Pueden, uh, ¿Tienen acceso al mismo link? Creo que sí. Ok, let us go. Al inicio. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Vamos a ver. Ok. No, okay. pero uno de sus compañeros sacó 9 de 10. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. What about the others? Lo tienen que hacer mucho más rápido. Pero ya no me sale, ya se borró. ¿Ya no le sale? No, lo puedo okay. poner otra vez. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Okay. Ah, yes, sí, sí, voy a pasar la lista. Antes que se vayan a hacerlo, voy a pasar lista, chicos, ¿ok? Give me a second. 
que ya me había sonado la alarma, pero estaban trabajando ustedes. Así que... Veamos... Okay, guys, so I know that sometimes it's very difficult for you to turn on your camera, but if you can do it, please, right? Whenever we have, uh, we're working with the attendance, please. Okay. Elsa Benedicta, no, 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 no. Berta Lilian del Carmen Centeno por ti. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Eric Isaac Chávez Hernández. Present. Jennifer Elizabeth Évora Santos. Present, teacher. Jessica Araceli Díaz Rubayos. José Adilson Vázquez García. Present, teacher. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Genia Lisset. Barrera Hernández. Kenny Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Present teacher. Kerin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Present teacher. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Present. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Teacher. Present, se me, me sacó de la clase en lo que me estaba llamando. Ajá, ok, ok, Kenia. Thank Osvaldo, you. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. Ok, Patricia Concepción Alvarado López. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Present. Valeria Michelle Monje Valencia. Present. Present. Ok. Wilfredo Renderos León. Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Y Amanda Gabriela Escobar. Ok, guys. Vamos nuevamente a tomar ese test y veamos si lo podemos superar. Ok, let us try. Ok, yeah, let us try.
Volví a fallar en la ULT. <risa> ok. <risa> Digamos, Osvaldo se mantiene con el score. Vamos a ver los demás. Yo no me carga la imagen, teacher. Ah, por cierto, descubrimos que no estoy en el grupo. Wow. <risa> ¿En cuál grupo? De WhatsApp. En el de WhatsApp. Ah. Yes. Sí. Ah, ya me encargo aquí. Eh, y yo no la puedo agregar porque no soy la administradora. Pero le puede pedir ahí a alguno de los chicos que la agregue, de los de soporte. Bueno. bueno. ¿Y Berta? ¿Lo logró? ¿O se me durmió? <ríe> ahí ah, está. Sí, sí. <ríe> ok. Otra vez. Ok. <ríe> Ok, ya está Karen, uh, Jennifer, uh, Elsa, and Matthew, right? Y ahí hice cuatro sin equivocarme. Ok, good, <laughs> good, ok. You see? You see? Yes, and now, <laughs> ok, keep, continue working. And now we are going to continue working again, too. Do no, you... yo casi termino. Ok, <laughs> ok, go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. You want to complete them, right? Lo logré. Yes. Ok. Yes. Ok. She did it. Very good for you. Ok, Berta. Good try. Ok. Ok, let's see. I want to see. Ahí te regreso. Ok. You did it. Me sacó. Aquí estoy. Okay. Very good. You see? And now, uh, do you remember that yesterday I shared a, a worksheet in the chat box? Yeah, she did it. Okay. So, that is to be perseverant. Okay? Good. No, no, no. Yes, you did it. Okay, do you remember yesterday that I shared a worksheet and a PDF file? ¿La trabajaron? ¿La hicieron? La de la 24. No, la que le subí al chat. Un quiz, un grammar quiz de May and Might. Ayer, en el chat, yes. en el momento. Yes. Sí, lo hice. ¿Ya le mandamos la captura? No, that is another quiz. No lo recuerdo. <laughs> And what about the others? Oh. No, Yo lo recordé, no, no, no. pero hasta que ya casi comenzaba la clase, así que no lo alcanzó a hacer. Oh, ok. No, si no lo hicimos, solo le subí el file y les dije que era para que ustedes lo trabajaran. Solitos, no, pues, alones. No. Para el lunes. <laughs> Para el lunes, no. <laughs> Let me see. 
Check it. Oops. No. No. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> no hay nada. No hay nada. <laughs> ah, yeah, ahorita, ahorita. No, I made a mistake. <laughs> Uh, I made a mistake. Well, let me see. What 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 do you want? Can you can you show me what you have? No dice nada. No dice nada. No, <laughs> What about the others? ¿Lo pudieron ver? Mm. Dice que es un posible problema de seguridad. ¿No lo pudieron abrir entonces? A ver. Bien. Sí, es el, el grammar quiz de made and might. Uh -huh. ¿Pero cuál fue mi error? Dice que podría dañar mi equipo. <risa> Pero ya lo <la> <risa> Ahora, mi pregunta es, cuando le digo, I think that I made a mistake, porque creo que le subí el que ya va con la respuesta. Ah, oh, ok. No, no, no viene dice. con las respuestas. Solo está con las opciones A y B. Ah, no tiene la respuesta. No. no. Ah, pues, you es have to work on that. <laughs> ok, solo es A and B, A and B, A and B. Ok, so that is what you have to do in this right moment. Try to complete them. Y después yo les comparto con la respuesta. Vamos a ver qué tanto lo hemos logrado. ¿Ok? Oh, my God. No es más otra cosa que decidir. A or B. A or B. Ok. Ok. I try. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ay. Espérame que este mi teléfono está loco. Okay. Hey. Me. nueve diez Yeah. Bless you. Thank you.
Ese es el otro, teacher. Yes. Esa es la respuesta. No. Ah, ya. Yeah. Ya escogí. Ya, yeah. finish. Me, sí. Ok. What about the others? Have you finished? No, teacher. Ok. The others let me know through the chat box if you have finished. Number 10 in this moment. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay, now I think that most of you have finished, right? Now let's compare the answers. I'm going to show you mine. Let's see. <laughs> Okay, I didn't save mine with the answers. I don't know what happened. I erased my answers. But I have I have the original right. <laughs> okay. So let us see. Um we have four. I'm going to show you the the percentage. Let me Sally, chicos, what happened? Give me a second. I'm going to close this. Finish. Finish? Good. Okay.
Okay, so. I want to share my, but I don't, I don't know what happened. Okay. So let us answer. What do you have? What is your answer for? My. For the first one, for number one, A or B? B. A. Is it A or B? I write, wrote B. You wrote B. Okay, the correct answer is letter A. So the answer is my family and I might travel to Montreal next summer, right? Then for number two, letter? I. Letter B. B. Letter B. Letter B, he might be sick. <laughs> number three. B. Letter B. Letter B, letter B, yes, letter B. Number four. B. B. I. I. <laughs> okay. The number four, it is letter A. Okay. Number five. B. 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 Letter B. B. Okay, letter B. Number six. Letter I only A. Wrote A. Wrote B. <laughs> A. Okay. Letter uh, B. Little B. I, I may not late today because I may have some extra work to do. A. I, <laughs> I. I. Letter I. Letter A. Okay. Is it letter? Okay, letter A, because you have something extra to do. So you better not late, right? Otherwise, you have, you're going to be late. Number seven. B. B. It says that there may be life on the other planets. Yes. Number eight. Letter B. Might not be. Letter no, B. Yes. Letter B. Number nine. B. 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 Letter B. Letter B. Number uh, 10. B. A. Letter B. <laughs> <laughs> letter B. Letter B. Todo va a ser ya letter B. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Number 11. <laughs> A. 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 Ah, okay. You, know, so you see? Not all of them. Letter A. Number 12. Letter B. B. Letter A. <laughs> letter A and letter B. Harry, let's get to the store before it closes. E. Make B. Abrirá después de las okay. seis. Yes. E. E. Not B. It might not be open. It might not be open after six. Podría no estar abierto, ¿verdad? Yeah, it might not be open. Okay, letter B. Number 13. A. Letter B. A. A. Oh, no. <laughs> the airplane may be delayed because of the bad weather or the airplane might not be delayed because of the bad weather. A. That is letter A. Okay. Maybe. Maybe delayed. 
Number 14. B. A. A, puse yo también. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure. Who oh, she? She may be our teacher or new teacher. Okay. Letter A. Hoy se me dieron todas las A, después de todas las B. Number 15. A. Letter B. A. Letter. Letter. Okay. Yeah. There might be cookies inside the box. Let's open it and find out. There might not might not cookies inside. Now definitely it is letter A. a. Letter A. Sixteen. B. B. In agreement. Okay, now everyone is in agreement. Yes, letter B. 17. A. <laughs> now you are not in agreement. <laughs> I don't feel I don't feel well. I don't feel well. I don't feel well. I might have to see a doctor or I might be. B. Letter A. Hmm. <laughs> letter A. No, I said I might be. I was reading letter B. Okay, so if the correct one is letter A. And the last one, 18. B. 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 You are in agreement, finally. Okay, letter B. That's it. Okay, so what's the capital of Syria, Spain? I'm not sure, but it might be. Madrid? Okay. Good. Okay, guys. Now you are ready to your role play. What is that? What is the role play? It is the conversation that you are going to uh, share, that you are going to prepare with your classmates. And you have to include the whole topics. May could, can, all everything why we have been uh how can I say uh making the review. Okay. One one conversation in donde al menos tiene que haber un uso de might, un uso de may, un uso de can, could, would, and uh and would like. Ah, and demonstrative adjectives. Ya todos juntos, hasta sale bien cortita, pero se puede utilizar, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. So, one short conversation, en donde van a incluir todo, guys. Ok, now, yes, we are going to work in your different breakout rooms. Again, o sea, Dilson, Matthew, Valerie, no sé si Valerie ya llegó, Elsa, Car Kerry, and Osvaldo. But I'm gonna try, I'm going to open it. Pero alguien me ha quedado afuera porque Valerie no estaba. ¿Quién? Ah, okay, Berta, yes, yes. Ah, pero sí, ya se conectó.
Genial, ¿será que la puedo incluir? <coughs> Kenia Fuentes. Hola. Hola, ¿será que la puedo incluir? Este, sí, teacher, solo que fíjese que andaba trayendo a, a mi niña donde mi mamá. Por eso, pero ya la puedo incluir. Sí, sí. Ok, good. Vamos a ver aquí. puedes contestar yes I, I work tomorrow I am so sorry oh, I José Adilson usted pertenecía a este equipo o lo cambié no me agregó teacher a este ok usted estaba en el otro equipo verdad yes ok ya lo cambio ya lo voy a cambiar uh, junto con Berta usted estaba con Berta sí aquí estoy yo en este Ah, pues aquí está Berta. Es que todo sí. lo, aquí. No, pero aquí estamos los que estábamos antes, solo agregaron a Valeria. Ah, ah Valeria. Ah, okay, ok, sí. Ok, good.
Ay, el verbo complicado. Ah, ah, no, no Pero que no me gusta. Ajá. Aunque Échale no me gusta las playas de la libertad, algo así. Ay, Tom. Qué fina salió. <risa> Tom. Like. Va a parecer que diga el Golden Like. Ah. Because of the Golden Like. The beaches yeah. of the. No sé cómo se dice. Uh, I would. I wouldn't would like. Like. Ah, ya sé mejor. I. Que no, I wouldn't like to go to. Eh, y una playa fea. Eh, uh, Tunco Beach, para decirlo. Ay, pero el Tunco creo que es bonita. Bueno, nunca he ido. Sí, eh, sí. Pero mejor una fea. Para, pero para Entonces, <risa> podría ser a la barra de Santiago, ese fea. Ah, vaya. Vaya. Uh, aunque. Eh, Okay, guys, try to be ready. We are coming back in two minutes.
Ya casi, Berta, ya casi. Cada vez ya, ya la voy viendo, ya, ya más cómoda. Tiene el micrófono apagado. Ah, ok. <risa> es la medicina, no soy yo. Ah, ok. <risa> que mire, Elsie. Hoy le va ganando Berta, mire. Oye, oh, yeah, ya ¿Qué? está acostada. Ya está acostada, vea. Estoy estudiando. Ah, vaya. Yo sí me acuesto, me duermo. Ah, yeah. mi, mi cama tiene como un hechizo que la toco y adiós. Se durmió. Yo estoy, estoy peleando por no dormirme todavía. Sí, sí, de, ya casi, ya casi, chicos, ¿ok? De hecho, a veces sentada me duermo. Creo que ya me había visto. <risa> su don, su maldición. ¿Cómo? Es su don, su maldición. <risa> ok, chicos, escuchemos a las dos conversaciones que tenemos listas. Ya, ah, sus iniciamos nosotros. We first. Yes. Adelante. Okay. Hi, how are you? Can you work tomorrow? I could yes. call to train tomorrow. Yes, I could work tomorrow. Could you drink coffee tomorrow? I am not going to work. I could work home office. Good night. I see you next week. Thank you so much. Bye bye. No había dicho que era corta. <laughs> Pero hasta el tono de todo que. Good night. Bye bye. <laughs> no se emocione porque se van a dormir. No yet. No, no, no. Ok. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs> Ok, guys, ok, solo que el tomorrow mucho me lo, me lo utilizaron, ok. Can you work tomorrow? It could be raining tomorrow. I could work tomorrow. <ríe> Estaban como muy, muy repetitivo el, el tomorrow. Lo vamos a quitar, por ejemplo. También vamos un tomorrow por un sábado, vaya. <ríe> yeah, solo en la primera sí lo, lo, lo entendemos. Ok, hey, can you work tomorrow? And then, yeah. Bye. Y creo que ahí quisieron no. poner, it could be raining, it, that's what I think, que eso quisieron poner, it could be raining, uh -huh. yes, Exacto. I could work tomorrow, yes, I could work, y le quita el tomorrow, para que no se oiga redundante. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Ok, no, yes, ok, thank you guys. And now, let us listen to the second team. Okay. Okay. Hello, Elsa. How are you? Uh, fine. How about you? I can't complain. Can you go to my birthday party tomorrow? I'm not sure because I have homework. Maybe if I finish it, I will go to your birthday party. Okay, that sounds good. After the party, I would like to go to the beach. Oh, it sounds perfect. I love the beach. I thought I, I wouldn't like to go to the Barra de Santiago beach. Why don't you like it if there are many restaurants with delicious food? I don't like it. I don't like mm -hmm. that beach because there are a lot of rocks. Well, we may 
uh, we may go to the Tunco Beach. Yes, we may <laughs> swim for a moment. Okay, see you tomorrow. See you. Okay, invite us. Okay, <laughs> we we would like to go too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and it is weekend, so let us go. <laughs> we will go to together. <laughs> yeah, we will go together, but you don't invite us. Okay, you didn't invite us. Okay, so that's why we are sad. <laughs> okay, yes. Okay, guys, now we are missing just with these two exercises and we finish, okay? Let us just see what we can answer with this exercise. Okay, let us, okay. we are going to use those. We are going to use this, we are going to use that or uh, these. Okay, let us see which are the correct answers. Okay, <clears throat> for example, number one, how could you buy something like that? Talking about a purse in your hand, in your hand. How could you buy something like this in your hand, okay? This. Like this, okay? Pero solo para corroborar y saber que ustedes están diciendo lo mismo es this, okay? Yes. Yes. Number two. Reports are very heavy with a that. pile of reports on your lap. That. This. Does. Están sobre su escritorio. Does. No, plural. That. 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 Reports. Plural. That. No, reports. Plural. <laughs> This. Uh -huh. Okay. Están sobre su escritorio. Okay, so we have. Yeah. This. This. These reports are very heavy. Luego dice, I had to wear comfortable shoes I bought. This is during a long walk. Those. I had to wear those. This. During a long walk, es decir, los anda puesto. Dos. Si los anda This. puesto, ¿están lejos de usted o están cerca de usted? These. Okay, so these. Comfortable shoes I bought. Si estuvieran lejos los zapatos, si son dos. Uh, okay. Can you bring me? That. That. Okay, that, porque dice, that cup I left in Anna's desk. Allá, en aquel escritorio está. Okay, so uh -huh. in this case, it is that. That. Singular y lejos. That. Number five. Those are. A picture hanging on the wall. Teacher, uh, what is the meaning of hanging? Hanging? How can I say hanging? Hanging? Um, when you, for example, um, put something on the wall, it is hanging. When you put something the in the in the wall. What is wall? Pared. Pared. That's it. So when you put something on your wall, that is hanging. Okay. Okay. Those. Then, that's it. Okay. Those are Mr. Pineda's children. Okay. Those are. And the last one. 
that in that in la misma en otra pintura okay in that picture you see my wife and daughter okay here okay y para que duerman bien <laughs> solo terminamos el otro okay pero, pero, aquí es como ustedes quieren resolverlo. Mire, porque no tiene el qué. No tiene que utilizar, no le está diciendo, tiene que ocupar, que ocupar esto. Aquí es como usted quiera terminar esa pregunta. Y la respuesta, of course. ¿Ok? Una utilizando can y la otra utilizando could. ¿Ok? ¿Cómo vamos a finalizar? Escríbame la pregunta y su respuesta con Ken en el chat box. Y también una con could. <coughs> Mire que aquí hay que resolverlas todas, pero solo les estoy pidiendo una con Ken o una con could. Pero también fíjese en el principio. If you are going to use what, if you are going to use when, or if you are going to use where. How, who. Estas son todas las preguntas. Ninguno se repite. ¿De cuáles va a escoger usted? Me escribe dos ahí en el chat box. Una con could y la otra con can. Rapidito aparecen las respuestas ahorita ya. <risa> Una con, con, con Ken y la otra con el que es? Con could. Where? Con could. Con pero, could. pero después del can, what can you? Después viene el verbo, pero no tenemos verbo en su pregunta, Berta. What can you? No hay verbo. Where can I, okay, where can I find a bank? Okay. What can you drink? What can you drink? Something juice, juicy? Mm, la pregunta, tenemos que trabajarla más, my dear Berta. Yo sé que ya es el sueñito que nos está afectando, ¿ok? What can you drink? Porque cuando vamos a ofrecer algo, utilizamos otra estructura en lugar de del can. ¿Verdad? Cuando ofrecemos algo que tomar, decimos, would you like to drink juice? Pero en este caso, ¿con quién? Lo mismo a José Adilson. Where can you live? Si can, ¿qué significa can? A veces es una posibilidad, right? Según ustedes lo presentaron, it is a possibility. También puede ser como un request. What can you go for food? Kenia, también ahí tenemos que eh, buscarle un sentido lógico porque si solo lo leemos así dice, what can you go? ¿Qué puedes ir por comida? Entonces no tiene sentido. Why can we have a beard now? Why can't we have a beard now? Okay. 
Ok, yes. Ahí está molesto porque no le están sirviendo una cerveza, dice, ok. And then eh, he is wondering, ¿y por qué no, pues? Ok. Ok, Berta, podemos utilizar una yes no question y estamos hablando de habilidad. No la hemos puesto como una posibilidad, pero como una habilidad. And that is ok. When could you visit me? Ok, that is a possibility. La pregunta. Me fue en una interrogación, en la segunda. Excuse me, Osvaldo, eh, Adilson. En la respuesta que va a leer se me fue el signo ah, de interrogación. Ah, en okay, que está okay. ok. Where could you visit me? I could visit you on weekend. Ok, good. What can you say about you? I'm a kind person. Ok, está bien. When could you call me? Saturday. Muy bien, Elsa. When could you come to my house, Valerie? Yes. Okay. Can I go to sleep? Oh, yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm giving you permission. <laughs> okay. Really? But, no, but let us, let us wait for the attendance. Okay, okay. guys. <clears throat> I know it is a little bit hard, but it is just a matter of practice, right? Okay. Berta Lilian del Carmen Centeno. Present. Okay. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. <laughs> Eric Isaac Chávez Hernández. Jennifer Elizabeth Évora Santos. Present teacher. Jessica Araceli Díaz Ruballos. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. José Adilson Vázquez García. Present José Renberto Calderón Pacheco. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Present. Kenny Elizabeth Barrera Hernández. Present. Ok, ok. Kenny Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Present, teacher. Kenny Alexis Escobar Cruz. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Present. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Present. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. Patricia Concepción Alvarado López. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Present. Valeria Michelle Monje Valencia. Present. Wilfredo Renderos León. Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Y Amanda Gabriela Escobar. Teacher. Bye. Hello, <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm just saving. <clears throat> okay, guys. So, thank you very much. I really appreciate your participation. And have a nice weekend. See you on Monday. Happy weekend. Okay. Bye. Bye. Take care of yourself. Now, good night. Now, yes. Good night. Good night. <laughs> okay. Bye. 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 <laughs>